the session on TALL was uh, quite interesting. There were a number of talks focused on different aspects of T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The first was by Adolfo Ferrando, where he talked about some of the work that they've been doing, trying to understand uh, why it is that pa some patients' leukemia has become resistant to, to therapy. So they've done a number of different studies to try to understand that. And, I, and one of the things I found particularly interesting is that in T-cell ALL, there, it just doesn't appear that there are specific subsets based on genetics that you can predict will do poorly, patients will do poorly. And so they've been trying to understand what it is that you can do to predict which patients won't have a good response and even better predict who's going to uh, relapse and try to understand what one might do to prevent that relapse. Still a lot of work to be done there, but it does appear that they're starting to hone in on a few different areas of research that may have, uh, may provide opportunities in the future. The second talk was by Jan Kuhl's group. He's focused very much on um, how the different mutations in TALL work together to lead to the development of leukemia and um, presented a number of interesting findings that particular DNA binding proteins collaborate with mutations in signaling molecules and both are required to drive leukemia. So that has implications for how we think about targeted therapies in TALL um, because Presumably, you need to inhibit both of those activities, the transcription factor activity and the signaling. Um, and then the last two talks were focused on the same concept that most T acute lymphoblastic leukemias express a productive T or many of the TLLs express a productive T cell receptor, which is you know, normally involved in, in antigen recognition. And they showed that if you overstimulate that receptor with antibodies or other approaches, that in many cases, the TALL cells will actually die. So the concept is, is that you might be able to use T cell receptor signaling as an, a new therapeutic approach in the disease. And while most of this work was preclinical, there, there are therapeutic approaches one could imagine using to take advantage of the findings. So um, that also generated a fair amount of excitement. 